Imagine for a second that you're riding on this roller coaster. I have a question. Right about here, what is going on in your mind? If you were right here on this roller coaster right now, what would you be thinking about? Would you be lost in thought? Would you be considering what you're going to have for dinner that night? Would you be thinking about some big assignment that you have due next week? Or thinking about what your friend said to you the other day? Probably not, right? You probably wouldn't be thinking about much of anything. That experience is so exhilarating and captivating that it commands all of your attention. You're fully absorbed in experiencing the present moment. Your thinking slows down because when you're on a roller coaster, you're not really worrying about the past or the future, and you don't need to think to just experience and observe the present moment. So thoughts become unnecessary, they're irrelevant. When all of your attention is in the present moment, when you're really fully engaged in just experiencing life right now, your thoughts naturally slow down. That internal dialogue that's often there becomes quiet. Internally, it becomes silent and still in a way that's tremendously peaceful and enjoyable. I think that's a big part of the reason why roller coasters are so fun and even liberating. Your problems and worries melt away because you're not thinking. And without thoughts, how could you stress about the past or the future? That state in which you're completely, consciously, attentively absorbed in the present moment, in here and now. That is meditation. It's a state of being. It's not really an activity. It's not something you do. It's a way to be. Meditation is being, not doing. So you don't need to be seated in a certain posture or burning incense or reciting mantras or doing anything to meditate. You can be in a meditative state anywhere, anytime. In fact, you can meditate on a roller coaster. Meditation very simply means being fully awake, aware, and attentive to your experience of life in this present moment right now. It means being aware that you are aware and seeing what that's really like. What does it feel like to be you? After you ask that question, meditation happens when you just watch. Just observe the flow of life with clarity and receptiveness. When you become deeply enough absorbed in the present moment that you found this internal silence, the natural byproduct of that is a sense of deep peacefulness and contentment and happiness. Because if there's no thoughts happening, if it's quiet inside, then how possibly could you judge this present moment as imperfect in any way? You're allowing this moment to be exactly as it is. Without any resistance, you're just witnessing the thoughts and emotions and sensations as they arise and then fade into the distance. In that internal silence, believe it or not, is everything that you've ever wanted. Because ultimately what we are seeking is inside, not outside. And that silence, that peace, that joy, that's always there that's readily available at any time. It's always already present. Meditation means returning to that inner silence. It means reconnecting with that essence that's always there, but often buried underneath thoughts. Okay, so how do you meditate? How do you become present? How do you find this internal silence? It's really pretty easy. All you have to do is ask yourself, what does it feel like to be me right now? When you're first starting out and, and practicing meditation, it's definitely easiest to direct your attention towards one particular aspect of your experience. That's why a lot of people focus on the breath, but you can, you can choose anything. Some people watch the rising and falling of the chest. Some people focus on a body part. I personally enjoy uh, focusing on the sounds that are arising, what, what it's what I'm hearing. That point of attention, that becomes the anchor that grounds you in the present moment. The doorway to the highest bliss that's humanly possible. Here's a really easy meditation exercise that I like that brings you back to the present moment. You can try it yourself if you want to right now, um, or not. Close your eyes and pick a hand. Without opening your eyes and without moving your hand, how do you know that your hand is still there? Can you feel it?
If you stick with that for a few moments, then you might start to notice that there's an aliveness there. There's, a, there's an energy. You can feel it. That's meditation. That's all there is to it. Some people have told me, yeah, okay, that's cool. I can become present, but that's not internal silence. I, I keep thinking. I can't stop my thoughts. How do I stop my thoughts? First of all, it has to be said that that's really natural and inevitable. Even for more experienced meditators, thoughts will continue to arise and pop up. Meditation is not about actively trying to stop your thoughts. If you think about it, that activity in and of itself requires more thought. Oh, come on, mind, stop. Stop thinking. It's completely counterproductive to try to stop thinking. Let your thoughts go. That's fine. Simply notice when you get caught up or lost in, in thought and with patience and with kindness, bring your attention back to your anchor, to your point of attention. The mind will become silent on its own as you go deeper and deeper into just witnessing the present moment. It's also important to remember that meditation, being truly present, necessarily means allowing this moment to be exactly as it is. So again, meditation is not about actively trying to resist or stop the thoughts that will naturally arise. Rather, it's about having the mindfulness not to get caught up in those thoughts. In summary, meditation is a state of being in which you are totally present, totally grounded in this current moment, intently watching the flow of life as it passes by in each moment. Happiness or sadness, anger or joy, comfort or discomfort, you just watch, you just observe as these things arise in your awareness and then fade into the distance. In that state of non-resistance, in that perfect acceptance, in that internal silence, is the highest contentment and the ultimate freedom.